used to latch on to moving targets, eating away at the flesh until they reach the blood and bodily fluids they crave. Oh, ah, why ah, is he come doing on. That? What it is, guys? It's your boy Blasphemous HD, and I don't know why I'm so enthusiastic in my intro because I'm really not going to be after I start the video. Uh, didn't mean for that to rhyme, at least not on this time. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying. Today it's top 10 scariest uh, fish in the sea. It is by WatchMojo.com. If you guys want to watch the original video, the link's in the description down below. Sometimes. Let's do this. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 scariest looking fish. So you see a big six, seven, eight foot gar hit the surface with these monstrous teeth. The first thing that comes to your mind is, well, I'm not getting in the water. Yeah. For this list. The fish ah! in question don't necessarily need to be dangerous. Bro, I don't do this, man. I don't. Aggressive or deadly. No. They just need to be terrifying and monstrous to behold. No! Schools of juveniles have even been known to attack larger no! land animals, venturing into the shallows. Number 10, Paku. Piranhas are scary enough without needing any help. But what if we told you there was a giant piranha-related fish with, wait for it, human-like teeth. No! Piranhas have small, triangular, razor-sharp teeth, whereas Paku have teeth that resemble human molars because they're mostly herbivorous, and our molars are what we use to mostly grind up plant matter. No. Large carnivorous fish have an inherent knack for intimidation. Adding something so human to the faces of these otherwise alien-looking creatures is sure to send shivers down the spine of even the most <laughs> seasoned fishermen. Combine these big square teeth with the fact that they can grow to over three feet long and 55 pounds in weight, and that is one intimidating river monster. It's basically the size of a tall midget, is what it is. You know what I mean? And it's got human-sized teeth, and they're traveling packs more than likely. I don't, I don't think that this is a good look for anybody, especially not me, I don't do water. Although not as aggressive as their piranha cousins, They'll eat almost anything. This would be a very jagged, messy tear, and I think you'd certainly know about this when no. this you. Number nine, dragonfish. No. Remember that horrifying moment in Alien when a chestburster pops out of John Hurt's stomach like some deep space jack in the box, releasing a super soaker? Sp she said deep space jack in the box. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I needed that laugh. I really, really, really do. Ray of blood? More blood curdling than that is the knowledge that an identical looking creature no. actually lives no. on this planet. No. While many varieties exist, the deep no. sea dragonfish is by far the creepiest. With a bioluminescent barbell hanging from its sharp fanged jaw, which it uses to lure unsuspecting victims. It may only grow to about six inches long, though sometimes more but this little fish is a fierce predator. Number eight, Wells catfish. There it is, there's the fish. Anyone who says size doesn't matter clearly never encountered this freshwater behemoth. Your average catfish, a little ugly, but nothing to be afraid of. No. The Wells catfish, on the other hand, can grow to 13 feet no. in length and uh -uh. weigh a whopping 880 pounds. What? This is a really- Okay, look, leave in the comment section down below where this fish is so that I can know never to go there because I want to travel, but I don't want to run into this when I'm there. The rare sight, that fish is so no! long. It's about 140 pounds at least. No! It's found all over Europe and eats fish and any other small amphibian or mammal with the misfortune of crossing its path. There are even stories- hey, at least it's killing pigeons. <laughs> ...of Wells catfish eating humans. No. This fish is so large that Loch Ness monster hunter Steve Feltham believes it to be the true species of the elusive Scottish lake monster. I'm saying that looking at all of the evidence, the best contender for an explanation currently is a thing called a Wells catfish. Number seven, alligator gar. But was an alligator gar really the culprit? Or, with its threatening prehistoric appearance, was it just an obvious scapegoat? While it has the jaws of an alligator, this thing looks more like a dinosaur. And that's not far from the truth. The alligator gar is often referred to as a living fossil, as it retains many characteristics of its ancestors. Fossils of these fish can be found dating back as far as the early Cretaceous period, over 100 million years ago. At up to 10 feet long and over 300 pounds, it's a true prehistoric predator. So, you know what I'm gonna look up next? Top 10 times people got eaten doing too much in nature. 
Alright, because that's what I feel like all of the people who are in this video are doing. Way too much! Any other fish you're used to fighting, you know, you whoop it, now you got it tired. These fish don't get tired, they just take a rest. Swimming with the fishes already suggests a gruesome fate. But how about swimming with the dinosaurs? It's very tempting just to, to keep it out and admire it. Number six, tiger no, fish. No, no! These are tiger fish. Africa's answer to the piranha. Why do we like to name fish after other animals found on land? Can't fish be scary in their own right? The tiger fish has such a tiger fish has such a distinct viciousness to its appearance that it needs no help in making a name for itself. That will just take lumps out what of other that? fish. It will take lumps what out of crocodiles that? even. Why? And the Why? There are stories well documented of that taking lumps out of people. It's lean, muscular, what? and has dis Tell me the front of it don't look like Bowser, bruh. Like a whole dragon out this mug, bruh. Like half dragon, half turtle, half fish. Proportionately large ah! teeth found all across Africa. The largest and most deadly of the species, the Goliath tigerfish, calls the Congo River home. Fearsome, fearsome teeth. While other carnivorous fish are known to eat unsuspecting birds resting on the water, the tiger He swallowed him whole! What? Fish is known to leap out of the water and trap ah! them mid flight. <sighs> Go edit that out. Number five, gulper eel. We can all agree that pelicans are funny looking. Hop inside my mouth if you want to live. The saggy stretchy throat makes them look like a bullfrog, no? Then there are the awkward stubby legs, the ungraceful takeoffs. The deep sea type of gulper eel, also called the pelican eel, shares the expanding lower jaw with the pelican, but the comparison ends there. But this, surely, must be the strangest of all the deep sea fish yet discovered. Rarely seen by humans, this creature is truly otherworldly. The expanding jaw and matching stomach lets them eat fish and crustaceans as large as themselves. Which is very useful in a world where you never know when the next meal is coming along. Small beady eyes evolved to spot the faintest movements in the dark ocean depths. No. While a bioluminescent tail sways to entice no. its unsuspecting uh -huh. victims. No. Sheer terror. Uh -uh. Number four, lamprey, also known as lamprey eels. There's something about anything snake-like. It just produces that sort of instinctive, squirmy reaction. By now, we shouldn't be surprised by the overlap of classic sci-fi films and the creatures on this list. It seems that our oceans are scarier than the furthest reaches of space and the imaginations of monster makers in Hollywood. Sarlacc and Space Slug from Star Wars and Sandworm from Dune. Meet your cousin, the lamprey. Long cylindrical fish of varying sizes, they have round funnel-shaped mouths filled with row upon row of sharp teeth. These unique mouths are used to latch on to moving targets, eating away at the flesh until they reach the blood and bodily fluids they crave. Oh, ah, why is he come doing on. That? Oh man, it makes my skin crawl and like, it just gave me goosebumps. I ain't doing this, bro. I ain't got too many more of these in me, bro. I can't even. That is hard to get off. That is hard. That is hard to get off. Number three, cookie cutter shark. Also known as the cigar shark. Asistius resiliensis. Asistius, exactly. Or more commonly known as. A cookie cut a shark. Remember how you used to draw shark teeth as a kid? Just a giant strip of white with a jagged edge? Well, in a nightmarish turn of events, your crude drawing has come to life and swims ah! warm oceanic waters ah! around the world. The cookie cutter shark ah! ranges from 17 ah! to 22 inches in length and it has a long cigar shaped body. It has suctorial lips that allow it to suck on flesh. From this position, it slowly spins, biting down with its saw-like teeth to remove a large oval of flesh, often two inches in diameter and two and a half inches deep. Perfectly round. I guess that's why they call them cookie cutters. Number two, anglerfish. No! Oh uh -huh. my gosh, an, an anglerfish. Obvious pescatorius. That was my favorite fish as a boy. Look at those teeth. This creature of the deep is pretty much one big mouth with fins. Like many fish that live near the ocean floor, it uses bioluminescence to attract its food. 
unlike many other fish, whose lure hangs beneath its lower jaw, the anglerfish has a fleshy protrusion growing out of its forehead. Called an esca, it uses it like a fishing rod, directing other fish directly into its mouth full of sharp teeth. In the darkness of deep water, they flash the light to attract prey and draw them near the angler's mouth. These teeth are angled inwards so prey can swim in, but escape is rendered impossible. This massive mouth also allows it to swallow victims twice its size. This no. far down, meals are few and far between. No. So to make the most of every opportunity, this mm -hmm. anglerfish has evolved a distending jaw and expandable stomach. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Out of my way. Just like my favorite Bond villain, I've filled a small swimming pool with over a hundred red-bellied piranhas, and they haven't eaten for days. Number one, Goblin Shark. Oh, horrifying monster clown of the deep. We salute you as the scariest looking fish, and you are up against some serious competition. Ready for some night terrors? This is how these things bite. Oh. What? what the? <laughs> I don't know whether that's scary or fascinating. This rare deep sea shark has pink fleshy skin and looks like some sort of deformed human shark hybrid. The elongated snout looks like a long, misshapen human nose that, paired with a mouthful of thin, sharp, nail-like teeth, makes for a haunting sight. More terrifying, however, are its jaws, which extend forward and expand when it... If a chick open her mouth and that's what her teeth look like, eh, mouth to mouth, man, you know what I mean? You just gotta do it and, you know what I mean, and hope she doesn't give you the ridges. It happened suddenly when the shark turned to avoid the camera and ran into the diver's arm. While not considered a threat to humans, they have been known to bite. And if looks truly can kill, then the goblin shark must be deadly. Do you agree with our list? Well, that's all the horrifiedness that I'm down to deal with today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Boy Blasphemous HD Twisms.